wearing it because I just don't want it to stick. Oh, guys, look at that. It's gorgeous. And it smells Ugh, so yummy. Once I slice into it, I'll share it with you. Good morning, everybody. Today is Happy Hump Wednesday. And um, I choose joy. And one of the ways that I found some joy today is putting on some red lips. Mm -hmm. I went for a walk after I did my devotion time this morning and um, a good walk. It was really humid out. Oh, really humid. Hair up in a bun. And um, I decided that I was going to make myself feel joyful and happy. And so, uh, yeah, I'm sporting red lips and it's perfect for me. So this morning I thought what I would do is share with you um, some things to do, some things not to do, and some things new. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, today it's kind of gloomy out. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit gloomy, um, but it felt good to get out for a walk because the cloud cover kept the um, heat away. I went early this morning and I did about an hour and 10 minute walk, a little over three and a half miles. So it was just kind of a, I would say like a light, moderate walk. And um, like I said, I sported some red lips. My daughter-in-law said to me, did you go for a walk with red lipstick on and I go yes I did I absolutely did because I think anything you can do to find the joy in the day you need to do it so uh grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about some things not to do so the first thing that I thought we would talk about are some things not to do and so first and foremost, I wrote down, um, sit in front of the TV or keep the TV on and newscasts on. And I know if you're a person who is um, isolated and home alone, sometimes you just want the noise, but I would suggest, um, I do this for myself to put anything else on, even if it's music or uh, a game show or something other than the news, because um, I just think that listening to the daily briefing every day is plenty of information. And you can also check online with the CDC um, to look at what is upcoming and new. but. I just wish the reporters, um, the majority of them, and politicians would just be quiet. And um, I just wish they would leave it up to the medical authorities to tell us basically what we should do. I think it gets very depressing and I think it's really hard to readjust and focus. So something not to do, um, and these are all based on what I'm doing for myself, is not to constantly sit there and listen. And I don't want to hear the badgering going back and forth between uh, the disputes that the reporters have against the politicians and who said this and that. No. Um, also, um, do not stray too much from what is normal and ordinary for you. Um, and what I'm talking about there is if you're working at home now, be routine about it. Set up a station, a situation that you are very routine. If you're a person who is an early riser and you're used to getting up and, you know, fix yourself up, keep that routine. Um, stay as close to it as you possibly can. Um, and also, I think it's great to take a spa day and just relax in yoga pants or um, sweats and do a mask for your face, a mask for your hair, and just 
just have that free day um, but if you get into that habit of not grooming yourself not taking care of your skin um, not brushing your hair and you're going a day or two it can become a very bad and lazy habit so there are five things that I normally do every day right off the bat. I first start my day off with devotions. For me, it's essential. Um, for me, it's something that I just have to do. It keeps me grounded. It keeps me centered. I make my bed. I clear my counters. I clear the floor. And I try to clear up clutter. And that means I try to go through a drawer or maybe a cupboard. Um, something in my closet that I know I am no longer using and I am starting my donation piles and I know when everything is open again that I will have plenty to donate. So those are the five things that I just try to do every day as part of my routine. Um, also um, things not to do is to um, just don't forget to be joyful. Don't forget to be thankful. And I say that on the not to do list because I think we forget to find joy in what we're doing in this present day. I think we forget not to be thankful because it's so easy once you listen and hear these reports. And this is a very difficult week this week because of um, the, I guess, rhythm of what we're in and the devastation that's going on so instead of complaining and finding difficulty in our leadership and pointing fingers at you know we're not being told this or we're being told too much here take that and be grateful for where you're at right now because there are literally thousands and thousands of people more worldwide who are in much more difficult situations because they've lost loved ones they themselves are fighting this horrific virus and um, there's so much more unsurety with them than with us so don't um, forget to exercise finding joy and being thankful and then last but last but not least don't cut your own hair. Seriously, don't attempt to do it. The hairdressers will be open again. I don't know when, but don't do it. So here's the story. So one night I couldn't sleep and sometimes that just happens. It's just kind of that hormone thing. So I try not to fight it. I get up when I know I'm in a sound sleep and I've gone to bed and I'm resting and all of a sudden, eyes wide open I'm like yeah I'm not gonna go to sleep for a while so I'll either read or you know sometimes I just look on Pinterest sometimes you know I scroll and do that and that gets me into trouble because then I want to shop for something yeah 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 but anyways um last time I went to get my hair cut the time before that I told her I wanted to start to have a little bit of a side bang a little bit of a swing bang so she was kind of hesitant are you sure i'm like no i don't know maybe and she goes well let's just cut a little bit see how you like it she cut a little bit i liked it so last time i went i said okay let's do it more let's do it fuller she goes i don't know i i think you're gonna it's gonna ruin that a line phone ringing not gonna get it but anyways yeah no so anyways, I decided, and she did it a little bit, not as much as I wanted, and after a couple of days, I thought, I really like this, but I need it to be a little bit fuller because my hair is getting longer, and with no bang at all, it's just a little bit heavier, and I just wanted to lighten up, so that night I couldn't sleep. Mm -hmm. I started watching some videos on how to cut a side bang. So important thing i forgot about is and i just admit it i'm not very good at math and i don't know if math has anything to do with this but i always think if it's something that i can't get right away it's got to have a math thing to it but 
like when you're looking at something, you know, of course it's different, it's opposite. And sometimes like when I film with my camera, if it's really my right hand, it's showing that it's left and you know, that craziness. So I was listening to what she said. I did what she said and I um, just did the direct opposite. And I, I just, I'm like, okay, I'm not getting this. This just isn't falling right. And so I thought, oh, I just need to wash my hair. So when it came up for me to wash my hair because I wet it and tried to blow it dry and I was like, nah, it's still not working. I just got to wash it. So I washed it and just, I struggled because it was just clunky and heavy and it looked choppy and I'm like, oh my gosh. And, you know, I thought about it and I'm like, yeah, if I call my daughter in law, I know what she's going to say. I told you not to do that. Okay. You did, but I didn't listen. But anyways, I gave in. And I said, okay, help me fix these bangs. She goes, I told you not to do it. I know, I didn't listen. So I said, let me show you exactly what I did. So I did exactly what it said on the video, and it was to make a triangle and kind of come back from your forehead to midpoint. I did all that, lined it up with the outside of my brows as to how much to take in. She said, wow, you really pulled a lot up. And then to bring it forward and use the tip of your nose as a measuring guide. And then, and then, here's where I screwed up. It said opposite side of where you part. So I part my hair on this side. So I'm going like, okay, that's the opposite side of where I part. I took my bangs and I swung them this way because that is the opposite side. Well, if I would have turned myself around, I would have understood what I did because as I'm explaining it to my daughter-in-law and I'm looking at myself, I went, oh, because I started doing this and she goes, no, no, no. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I could see I was supposed to go this way. So she showed me exactly how to do it and uh, you know, cut into it. She's like, don't cut it straight across and gotta soften it up. And you know, not everybody has a hairdresser in their family and thank God I did because she did get them straightened up and she said, now if you want to, you can pick up a little bit. And I'm like, <laughs> no, yeah, I don't need a brick house to fall on my head. Um, have I cut my hair before? Yes. Have I screwed it up? Yes, but I always do a good job when I have to cut somebody else's hair. And don't ask my son that though, because when he was little, I would cut his hair a lot. And one time I clipped the side of his ear and he really has a little bump scar there and never lets me forget it. But anyway, cutting hair is over. Uh-uh. I just kind of took the hairspray and, you know, but I do like that little side bang because it does soften the hair up and now it's laying so much better and what can I say? Each crow. So anyways, that's it for the some things not to do. Now, some things to do, I think it's um, spending time in reflection. That could be devotion. It could be your meditation and really centering yourselves around the here and now and what's going on presently. Um, things to do, think about what am I learning in this? Um, thinking of all the things I took for granted, simple, easy things. Um, think about him, reflect on it, and allow it to make a difference when we get through all of this because this too shall pass. This too shall pass. And I hope that we come out stronger as individuals, closer to God, and a better world. A better world. Um, and number two, things to do is to just appreciate that we have this time to be at home. I know for so many, they're alone. It's very difficult it's scary but do those things that you can do pick the phone up if you can call somebody that you've wanted to call for a long time and haven't had the opportunity um, FaceTime if you have the availability um, just do as much as you can even if it means that you stand at the end of your driveway and communicate with your neighbor across the way try to appreciate what's going on now 
for so many people who have lived this life of every day here there going blowing and this is a time to sit back and maybe just catch up on on your thoughts and letting your thoughts catch up with you instead of most times thoughts running away ahead of what we can possibly do um, think of ways to be creative you know I think we all have these secret dreams and I'll share one with you you know of you know hmm if I had to do it over again what would I do or oh I always thought I would like to do this or this or this hmm what could I do you know oh if I had the chance so if it's music that you think about I never get a chance to um, just record or sing and I really love doing it so do it um, I really wanted to teach myself how to crochet there's so many free tutor tutorials online that you can get a hold of and they're just so good how to you know if it means how do you boil water watch a video um, be creative step outside of your box and for me I've always wanted to write a novel yeah I don't know anything about it except I get these ideas in my head sometimes when I think oh wouldn't that be a beautiful love story or would it so be creative and start writing things down on paper I mean I took a couple of writing classes um, when I was in nursing school for my extra um, curriculars and uh, you know I really enjoyed it so that's just stepping outside of your box and being creative and really for me I have a lot of hobbies cooking crocheting reading um, I like to dabble a little bit in arts and crafts so I always have something that I'm doing but really to do something that's just like totally out there I would love to write even a short story I think that would be fun um, so challenge yourself and um, think outside the box that goes along with being creative but actually force yourself to do something that you never thought you would do that's to your benefit so I'm just gonna use this as an example just because it's here um, put on some red lipstick if you think that's something you can't wear or it's something that's you know I just can't wear red or you're growing your hair out now that you have the opportunity and you wanted to do it match it up with some red lipstick I mean it just does something to your color and it just makes you feel good I think red a little bit a splash of red just kind of brightens your day up I'm kind of being silly or if you've always gone to get your nails done and you've never done them yourself then order a bottle of nail polish do your own nails I mean just challenge yourself like I can't paint my own nails yes you can maybe at first it won't come perfect but there again there's all kinds of learning tutorials for that and then tackle something that you've been putting off uh, one of the things that I have been doing for myself is I've been taking the worst dreaded part of what I need to get done for the day that I don't like doing and putting it first because I'm like everybody else I just put it last oh, I'll just do it later I'll just do it later and then when I'm doing it I'm already tired and oh, I don't want to do this so I just try to take the hardest thing and I try to put it first and um, the fifth to do is find joy do find the joy in the day no matter what it is if it's drinking a cup of coffee and enjoying the flavor enjoying the smell and being grateful that there isn't right now a shortage of coffee find the joy in something so 
that's it for that and next I want to share with you a couple of things that I did purchase um, that I was looking at needing um, especially with uh, you know being home a lot um, I wear jeans a lot and I pretty much am into the skinny jean thing and I'm not a short person I started wearing shorts more um, you know a year or so ago when I moved to the hotter area but I do like to wear just plain shift dresses in the summer when it's really hot but I like um, I was looking at some uh, sweatpants but I don't want the heavy or the bulkiness and Old Navy has these that are called um, breathe on and they're a really light they're so nice they have a really nice elastic good long drawstrings and they're light and soft and they feel awesome and they do have the cuff at the bottom now a lot of times I'll walk in these in the morning I did get a size medium I probably should have gotten a small but you know I sometimes I just still don't see myself in that they're a little bit baggier than I would like but I don't want my jogging or sweatpants to be tight but these I think um, have some give to them and they come in an assortment of colors they're super soft they wash up beautifully and I think I purchased a navy blue and a gray pair so it's perfect for right now and especially even um, in the evening if I decide I'd like to take an evening walk or something where it's been a little bit cooler these are perfect because they aren't heavy and they're so breathable they're really nice these are from Old Navy and um, next one of the favorite foods that I have been enjoying and eating and as I told you I'm trying to make um, a new recipe something that I haven't tried at least once a week and this week I'm going to share with you um, a it was called an egg um, hack sandwich and um, to me it's kind of like a cross between a Monte Cristo and a uh, French toast sandwich and it was a little bit heavy for me so I made it um, for my husband and it was really neat you just scramble eggs beat a few eggs scramble them together I added just a little bit of water to the eggs put it in the pan that had a little bit of butter in it and then two pieces of bread and you flip them over and then you just let the eggs kind of congeal around the bread and I just kind of kept moving the sides of the eggs in and then after it cooked for a while on that one side you just take a big spatula and flip it over and then on one half I put sliced tomatoes bacon cheese and just layered it and then I picked up the other half of the bread and then cooked it really good on both sides my husband said it was super good I'll put a picture of it here and I took a little tiny bite and yes it was very very good it was just very versatile and I liked it next are steel cut oats I know a lot of people don't really enjoy oatmeal but oh my gosh these in the instant pot it is super easy super super easy and um, it's five minutes it's just they're so good I slice a whole apple peel and all dice it up throw it in the instant pot with this and water a little bit of vanilla a teeny bit of cinnamon a bit of salt cook it on in the instant pot for five minutes and I think the ratio for this is um, one cup of steel cut oats and three cups of water I'm going to double check it and I will put the instant pot recipe below what happens is it makes enough that I scoop out you know a good heaping bowl size of it at least about a cup and with the um, 
apple in it and then I'll put fresh blueberries in it. Um, sometimes I put sugar-free maple syrup on top. I eat that. It's so filling and then I put the rest in a Tupperware container and then it lasts throughout the week. But it's so good. There's a difference in steel-cut oats and I think McCain's is the absolute best because it's super, super nutty. So that's just one of the things that I've been enjoying. And the other um, thing I want to share with you, I bought this with my Christmas money and I ordered this um, a while ago. It came from another YouTuber who has a channel called Parisian Farm Girl and she lives in Door County and there is a coppersmith there and look at this heart-shaped copper pan. It is handmade. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's You can bake in it. It's not for on top of the stove top, but she actually makes a recipe with her grandmother's um, cinnamon rolls and puts all the cinnamon rolls in this pan and bakes them in this pan. And that's what I used my Christmas money for and ordered it and it came just this week and I love it. I love it. I have some copper little pieces hanging on the wall but this is going right on my Hoosier and I just can't wait to make a big old heart-shaped cake and maybe when we get out of this mess I'm gonna make a beautiful mm, deep chocolate mm, ganache cake. I think that sounds yummo. But anyway, so yeah, I just had to share because, and I'll link her below. I know they were going to do orders um, in segments if anybody's interested, um, but I just think from Door County, um, we spent several of our little vacations when we were living in Illinois visiting Door County when my son was younger and growing up and we just loved it and um, so it's just it's perfect for this time of year oh that is my oven I am presently cooking oatmeal bread that I shared with you before and now I have to take the lid off and um, let it brown on the top um, so I will show you that but I just wanted to share this because it just brought so much joy to my heart when it came in the mail. Um, I love it. I love stuff like this and it couldn't have come at a more perfect time. And every time I look at it, I'll always remember, wow, this is very reminiscent of our trips that we would make when we would visit Door County. So that's all. It's just something different for today's video and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're all well. I am praying for you and the world and for all of us. And until my next video, be kind, be humble, age gracefully. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, you know, if you have any suggestions for videos, I am more than willing to entertain that. So until then, bye. Look at that. It looks beautiful. And now we're going to continue to bake that for oops, three to five minutes. I'm going to start it at five minutes to brown the top. Oh, that stuff was yummy. Fresh out of the oven. I line the pan with a little bit of parchment after spraying it because I just don't want it to stick. Oh, guys, look at that. It's gorgeous and it smells Ugh, so yummy. Once I slice into it, I'll share it with you.